I would say that my children have developed a love of learning. Both my daughter who's in first grade and my son who's in pre-K three. They jump out of the car, they run in, they give hugs to the teachers that are waiting to greet them. My two children would say first and foremost what they like about McClay are their friends, uh, which I'm happy about and a school should provide. My daughter would say she loves the ability to interact with kids that are older. Having the football team greet the kids that drop off, I think that means a lot. It's a whole sense of community that starts from the lowest grade and then it ends up, you know, to the seniors in high school. It's, it's important. I want for my children what I had when I left McClay. I went here from K through 12. But I think what differentiated McClay from the other schools that my friends had gone to when I was in college was the emotional development, the quality of friends that I had at McClay. The ultimate goal is that, you know, we're teaching our children to be kind and to be good people, but that they can succeed beyond high school and into college. You know, they're all going to pick to do different things. You want them to get that diploma and walk off stage, and really anything they want to do in life is an option. The faculty and staff at the school are hands down the best around. You know, they respond very quickly to when, you know, if there's a question that comes up or if there's a concern. Both of my children in the upper school have found those teachers who are emotionally and academically supportive to them, who have helped them navigate some things that they don't want to talk to their mom or their dad about. The most important thing about McClay being an independent school is there's a curriculum developed for each child. They say, if you want to try something, if you want to try a sport, try it. This is the best time to do it. We're going to support you. You may like it, but you also may decide that that's not your thing and you're going to go do something else. Having lower school kids, you always wonder what's the grade where they're smarter than you. <laughs> so for my two boys, um, that was almost immediately with science. Mm -hmm. uh, like, they love science. Well, I have a child who was kind of naturally science and math that comes easy for him, and then he took a junior literature class and all of a sudden you could see the light bulb go off in his head as to, I like books. This teacher approached it in a new way that for him kind of lit up a whole new interest area. The Spanish that they're learning here, that's been a wonderful thing and especially that they mix in the performance arts with that as well. Being able to get up in front of an audience and their peers just will do wonders for them as they grow and and McClay offers that. The most important characteristic of the faculty is that they've created an excitement about learning and to me if you, there's one thing you want to develop in a lower school child it's a love of learning and excitement to be in school. As my wife being an uh, alumni she still is close with with people today that she met through McClay. What's most exciting is that the foundation of the school is staying the same that is still the same family atmosphere as existed when I arrived in 1985. There's also um, an understanding that the world is changing. And so my children will need uh, different tools than I had when I graduated. It's exciting to think about the opportunities that our kids are gonna be able to have, exposure to all of the different programs. And that the I Think Initiative and the new research center and the new science building are going to teach my children and prepare them for that world that's vastly different than it was when I graduated. I feel like the future is so bright and it's a great time to be at McClay.